Folks, it's Thursday night. Welcome aboard for Murder Hobo Inc., the Cacophony Edition. We're still going to call it that, even though something's about to change. Welcome <laughs> aboard. Thanks for joining us. We're glad to have you here. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit with us about D&D sometime, hit us up on our Discord channel. If you want to buy really cool shit like a phone case or a bidet cover or I don't know. We got a lot of crap. We have phone uh, cases now? <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I got I got one of each. Well, I've nice. got two different ones. So, oh man, uh, plenty of really cool different uh, designs. Take a look at them uh, tonight. We will be answering a question that we had two weeks ago. What are these guys going to do next? Before we do that, let's go ahead and introduce you to our prospective clientele tonight. Uh, the youngest, probably most vicious murder hobo will be up first. Caitlin, who are you and who are you playing? <laughs> I'm Caitlin. Happy holidays. Yay! And <laughs> I'm playing Daphne, a paladin tiefling tonight. So long I still survive and don't go to jail. <laughs> You'll probably survive. We'll probably survive. We can't guarantee not going to jail. <laughs> jail, yeah. jail's, jail's a question mark. The rose between two thorns, David. Hey. hey. <laughs> nice. Just pissed off the whole cast. <laughs> I, I'm David. I play Zadar on Cacophony. He is a changeling uh, arcane trickster. Uh, you never know what form he or she is going to take. Uh, and I uh, out of game, I'm also on uh, most 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 times <laughs> on BTR uh, between the roles, and every once in a while I'll get lucky and get a one shot on a Saturday. So, so yeah, you never know where I'll turn up. So <laughs> it's like a stalker, folks. Uh, last but uh, <laughs> not least, normally our producer tonight. She is, as always, our producer and a participant. Carrie, who do who are you and who do you play? Uh, I am Carrie. I am playing Camille, a necromancer, and let's see. Caitlin already wish happy holidays, so I'll say happy Yule season to everyone. I'm sure you're broadcasting again. I uh -oh. am. Yeah, Are you? I can hear her, but hopefully. it's just not very loud. Okay, uh, that works. Uh, folks, my apologies. Uh, been a rough week for me, so I'm a little bit tired. So if I'm off my game, that is my shitty excuse. But let's go ahead and fill you guys in. For those of you who haven't watched, welcome aboard. These guys have spent the their first six levels of their lives. No, you guys, Yeah, you guys are sixth level, right? We're sixth level now. <laughs> um, uh, the first six levels of their lives in urban. Urban settings, so... They said it couldn't be done. Eh, they were wrong. Uh, these guys have spent their entire life pretty much inside the walls of Cacophony. Tonight, that is about to change. Even though they were offered the opportunity to stay and continue to be heroes here, they were, shall we say, wooed by several different nation envoys. Uh, there was a trade conference in the city, uh, and these guys, having performed admirably in the Olympiad, as well as other areas of note, uh, they were highly sought after to go ahead and resolve issues in foreign lands. Each of the envoys have given it their best go, except for the elves, because fuck those guys, and we're from mature audiences only. Uh, bastards. Yeah, the elves didn't really put forth the best effort. Uh, but you guys have chosen what? Which group are you guys going to go with? I think the Telosians, uh, the Tower I, of Terror. I hope so, because that's what I prepared for. These guys <laughs> are going to, to Telosia. Uh, loyal watchers of the show may remember the uh, mysterious mansion under the dock uh, that wasn't broken initially, but thanks to Fumbelina Daphne, uh, <laughs> she broke the dock with the Marvelous Mansion. Uh, <laughs> that is where they first met these people who are eh, 
use your imagination, American Indians. Uh, they like <laughs> the sea. Uh, the Tolosians are thrilled to no end that you guys are headed to the Tower of the Curd to rid it from its undead curse uh, so that Hempta, the seductive, can claim rightful heir of Tolosia and take over leadership of her people. Uh, the other groups... Uh, we're sad, but understood and uh, extended the opportunity for jobs uh, out to you guys should uh, the uh, circumstances change and or arise. So there are no butthurt feelings here. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> Let's and, hope not. Uh, the next morning you arise early uh, after having packed your belongings, unless we're in a few good men. Uh <laughs> but, uh, as you head down to the dock, several familiar individuals await your departure, least of which is Fomunda D's Nuts, current city councilman and former guild master of the Adventurers Guild. Uh, the new uh, master, his replacement, Fauntleroy, is there. Uh, your favorite dark elf is also present, as are two members of the local constabulary. Oh, very nice. Nice. Uh, the two no mission investigators hand each of you a coffee, sensing that nice. you probably not have time to get it. Uh, Famunda gives you a small chest and says, while he is sad to see you guys go, he understands that you must spread your wings and help the Talosians. The small chest contains six potions of extra healing, two nice. for each of you. Uh, there is also 1,200 gold pieces shit. in platinum bars, about yay big. Uh, this is from uh, Arrow Smith. He has taken over the salvage operation nice. of oh, wow. the uh, Gethanki ship, uh, and that is your first cut uh he tells you that once you get settled uh you can send a magical message or carrier pigeon or some other uh type of verbose message tabaxi. to let him know <laughs> yes tabaxi sailors uh to let him know where to send further payments uh but you guys are all set to go everybody gives you hugs wishes you well uh now, i throw my arms around hortense's knees and said I wish we'd had more time together. <laughs> she takes her knees and clamps them on your cheeks and then moves her legs left and right, giving you raspberries. Nice. <laughs> Probably as return payment for all the times you whacked her yeah. in the knees. Uh, they are sad to see you go, but of course, that is the way the cookie crumbles. Uh, you notice that one other ship is leaving today, and that is the Hymona delegation. Uh, they wish you well, and they actually break water first. You are on the cutter with Captain Vessel, uh, and Hemptra, the seductive, is not taking any chances with the perilous water crossing. She <laughs> goes back into her jug and... Uh, Turns herself over, turns you over to Talana, her trusted adjutant. Uh, the men and women of the delegation are again petrified about going out onto the water, and they lash themselves to the side of the ship if they stay, or go below decks and scamper away. <laughs> Captain Wessel and his crew, sans a few people who pissed off the Talosians, point out that it's going to be a three-day trip to Cathaway. Not a seven-hour tour. Not a seven-hour tour. A three-day trip to the big city of Cathaway, which is where he picked up the delegation. I have heard there is someone there named Dwayne the Brick Johnson. Is that correct? Wayne the Brick Johnson is one of the city's most favored individuals yes. there. <laughs> and there also happens to be a little something called the UCFC, the Underground Crab Fighting Ooh, Contest. Nice. If you can find them. Uh, the trip is expected to be uneventful as you will be hugging land as the crew does not want to clean up more vomit. Uh, are there <laughs> any questions before you get underway? Nope. 
uh, on the docks, I was uh, in the very first form I ever changed into in Cacophony. Jessica. <laughs> Jessica Rabbit? <laughs> yeah, except red leather armor. Awesome. The the males of the Talosians, and I don't know, maybe a few females might uh, go ahead and take a look at that and go ahead and lash themselves to the ship's mast just to go ahead and get a peek at you. Uh, nothing <laughs> sexist about that since I'm using both men and women. Right. Uh, as you head on out, everybody waves goodbye like it's the love boat. Uh, you think, you think you see a tear in Fomunda's eye, but you aren't really sure. Uh, it's very sad. Uh, you head out to sea and hang a, a left up the coastline. Uh, you are destined to go ahead and take this three-day jaunt up north uh, to the home of the Talosians. You will be leaving Cacophony here, going up past Hymona, so you will be uh, tailed, or actually you will be tailing the Hymona ship, the mermaid. Uh, quick repairs have been done on it. Uh, <laughs> before heading up into the breakwaters, just to the south of Talosia, uh, Captain Wessel tells you that Cathaway is the farthest north independent city of the Heplock uh, community. You guys have only known the Heplock Peninsula, but Heplock extends quite a bit. Uh, you will be headed to the uh, most northern city, Cathaway, before entering the Talosian land. Day one passes uneventfully. Thank goodness. Uh, do you have any questions for Captain Wessel? Um, not at this moment. Uh, so, so far, the weather, pretty smooth sailing. Smooth sailing. You're up by the coast. Everything is peachy. Maybe you spot a few whales, a few dolphin pods, maybe. Uh, go ahead and chase your ship. Mm -hmm. uh, Ancient nothing. penguin or pelican? Uh, albatross. Albatross. Oh, albatross. There we go. <laughs> uh, birds will come by, but since you're not a fishing boat, they will not stay along. So... I asked the captain, so you usually don't have any trouble with uh, people along the coastline trying to do anything to the ship. Pirates? Yeah. Every once in a while, we uh, we outrun them. Don't worry, the cutter is a very fast ship. So <laughs> All right. I do I do not anticipate any trouble from the Tabaxi pirates. Oh. Because, you know, pirates. there's a reason Carol absolutely hates tabaxi. <laughs> That's an odd a tabaxi pirate. I wouldn't think that they would want to be on water, but there you these are. Guys, these guys are badasses. <laughs> uh, he, the captain points out that uh, he picked up the crew, a.k.a. the Talosians, in Cathaway where they had their mounts. Uh, there are no port cities of the Talosians. High cliffs surround most of the landscape uh, and give way to high grasslands and tundra, home to, I think, purple? No, red buffalo and deer and antelope herds. Mm, nice. So uh, while he has never visited the interior, he said the borderlands are nice, as are the cliffs, although they are quite looming and dangerous. So... Uh, day one will pass uneventfully. Everybody give me constitution checks. Let's see if you guys have your sea legs. God, I hope so. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Fifteen. Daphne and Zadar? Uh, ooh, I'm feeling a little seasick probably. Seven. <laughs> yeah, the heaving bosoms are not adjusting well to you. <laughs> Daphne, how about you? Muted. <laughs> She's still muted. <laughs> I can't hear me now. 14. Yeah, we can. 14. Uh, you and Camille seem to have no problems. Jessica Rabbit is using her voluptuous <laughs> breasts to hang on to the side of the ship. <laughs> chums the water uh, the, oh, man. the albatross will stick around for some uh, of that uh, uh, Camille fort hold my hair back <laughs> fortunately Zadar the rest of the Talosians have decided 
Uh, you aren't that hot. Yeah, okay. <laughs> they go below deck. Uh, the evening comes in. You guys all have a single stateroom. Stateroom in quotation marks. It's not going to be great, but it is going to be private and accessible to all three of you. Uh, the next morning arrives in clouds are abundant looks like you're headed into a storm front uh, as you I knew gaze it. out among the beauty uh there are some really dark rolling clouds uh camille daphne you've already passed so you have your sea legs that are let's see if you've let's see if i fare better today. <laughs> oh man constitution check oh Somebody's gonna be oh! Don't come up on me. Somebody <laughs> is going to be fighting at disadvantage should the, the case arrive. Oh, God! Uh, as you head into the storm, uh, the captain tells you, uh, "Why I couldn't know. I have been an alchemist, man?" <laughs> Pepto, find yeah. Pepto Bismol, <laughs> something uh, like that. He tells you guys that uh, it, it might get a little bit rough today. I have okay. a pet mouse. You do? I guess I do. Hmm. I think you do. Where'd you get that? I don't know. It just showed up. Okay. <laughs> My parents gave it to me, evidently. Oh, okay. What? Is it still alive? Was it like in a bag of holding or something? I don't something? know. <laughs> I was like, is this really Frank? <laughs> Yes, we have too many cats for her to... I was about to pass. say. Yeah. <laughs> a uh, rain begins to fall on the deck of the cutter, and the sailors don't give two shits about it. They seem to be aptly prepared for this. They continue about their business, swabbing the decks, uh, getting scurvy, etc., etc., and everything seems to be going according to... But what about plan. the Telosians? Aren't they upset about being rained on? They are down below. Uh, anytime you walk past their quarters, all you can hear is Zidar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wait, are any of the Telosians, you know, having issues too? Because <laughs> you know I imagined it, it's like Master and Commander. Somebody's below and just blah. A 7, a 13, a 20, a oh, 19, a 12, a 17. A 14, an 18, and an 18. Well, puss boy, you <laughs> they, and they had, they got one their Telosian. <laughs> yeah, that's right. This is uh, Zadar's first time on a ship other than by the shore. <laughs> they, they are smart enough to stay below. So right. they might have that as an advantage. Uh, you will not see the Telosians again until you guys park it. Uh, as the rain continues to fall, would you like to remain above deck or below? Uh, I will stay above. <laughs> Probably above for me <laughs> with a bucket. <laughs> Daphne? Is there like an overhang above? You mean like a crow's nest? Or are you talking another deck, like? No, like it's deck? like if we're above deck, is there anywhere that has like a ceiling, of some sort of roof? So she's not gonna get wet. Uh, forward yeah. and rear. Uh, the rear is the captain's chamber. The forward is the first mate's chamber. Uh, or are you just looking for an overhang? Yeah, yeah, an overhang. There we go. There will be a fragile overhang. D twelve against me for the front. And then you'll d12 against me for the rear. First roll, 10. Uh, 11. And the rear, 10 again. 8. Uh, front, forward section is probably your best bet. Okay. Because <laughs> the rain is coming that way and it's coming in at an angle. Okay, so gotcha. I'll go up there then. So as Camille nurses Zadar along with his puke bucket, <laughs> uh, you fold your arms and stand underneath a shallow overhang as the storm somewhat intensifies. It's not a full-fledged thunderstorm, but the rain is certainly not missing much as it continues to fall. A loud whistle pierces the air about midday 
and someone in the crow's nest has spotted something. Everybody roll perception checks. Uh, 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 seven. Uh, 24. At disadvantage? Oh, disadvantage. All your <laughs> rolls are disadvantage. 24. <laughs> I rolled two 16s. Yeah. Nice. Nice. 14. Uh, Daphne and Zadar, uh, you look up to the crow's nest, look over to where he's pointing, and a figure is speeding through the air oh. as it begins to close. You can't really tell what it is. Uh, you two give me arcana checks. Okay. Uh, yes. Oh, so bad. Four. I don't 20, know. 21. Uh, it looks like a lion, Zadar. Oh, for the love of God. Daphne, you have no idea what it is. It's just a figure. There's something out there. Everybody roll initiative as thunks can be heard and large iron spikes are landing in the deck. Damn it. Eight. Oh my god. 24. Five. At disadvantage? Oh, god damn it. Keep, keep calling to disadvantage. Yeah. Uh, All of your rolls today, baby. Yeah, yeah. Ten. Ten. Drop from 24 to 10. What was yours, Camille? Eight. And what was yours, Daphne? Five. <laughs> yeah, we suck. Uh, how many tail spikes am I going to shoot? Oh, shit. Is this like a manticore? You don't know. You don't know! Uh, you don't know, man! <laughs> it's going to shoot two spikes. Uh, one Camille, two Zadar, three Daphne, four anything else. Two, three, uh, Zadar and Daphne, you are going to be targeted, probably because uh, Camille doesn't know what the hell's going on. Okay. Zadar, I'm going to use uh, nine, Uncanny Dodge. Four, yeah. <laughs> five, 14, and Daphne, seven plus five is 12. Both tail spikes miss you. Uh, let's see if it hits... Well, it was only shooting two, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, this thing is closing as it does. All three of you spot it. It looks like a lion uh, with a really weird human face on it. I know it. Uh, and its tail is just flicking iron spikes at you guys. Uh, it is not in melee range this round. So magic or missiles. We'll start with the ten Zadar. Uh, I cast hex on the object. <laughs> the right. man, the we're not sure yet if it's what I thought it was, but it's a manacle. Okay, yeah. So it is hexed. It is um, trying to pull it up. Is there a save, or do you have to hit me? Uh, uh it's uh, it's a bonus action, and it just says you place a curse on a creature. So rendering. Is there a range? Uh, the range is 90 feet. So right. is it within yeah, range? Right. Yeah, mm. that'll work. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's just going to take uh, 1d6 necrotic damage on attacks. Okay. So. Uh, Daphne Camille? Hmm. It also has disadvantage on, a, on checks. So. How far away is it? Daphne? Uh, it's 90 feet. Fuck. Mm. Uh, 90 feet? Mm -hmm. Oh, I have to choose what, what checks. Uh, I pick constitution for a, That's the fine. creature. Okay. Daphne and Caitlin, or Daphne and Camille. I'm trying. <laughs> I... uh, nothing wants to go that far. You can always wait. Okay, I, I guess that's what I'll do. I'll wait. Daphne, what do you want to do, if anything? Can I... I Sorry. Okay. 
myself. I'm gonna cast Fine Favor. Okay, what's that do? I get an extra 1d4 radiant damage. Cool. On a hit. Okay. Uh, the thing is in a death spiral dive, and you see four more tail spikes get flung. And it will go after two, one, two, it really hates you, three. So, uh, on Camille, seven plus five is 12. On, oh, Jessica Rabbit gets hit with a 19 on the roll. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to uncanny dodge it so it'll be half in damage. Uh, 12 plus 5, 17. Does the second one get you? Uh, yeah, the second one gets me too. And Daphne. Uh, 6 plus 5 is 11, so it misses the ladies. Hits Jessica Rabbit twice. One for half, one not. Ouch. Okay, the one for half. Lucky you, seven plus three is five. Halved, or seven plus three is ten. Halved is five. Second one, seven plus three is ten. So 15 damage total. Uh, and it lands plopping itself on the deck. Big deck. Big wooden deck. Deck? Wood deck. Uh, He's stressing wood deck. <laughs> wood deck. Uh, Zadar, you are up with a 10. Okay. I am going to cast Frostbite uh, at the Mana Core. It's a 60 foot range. He's got to do a Constitution save, which he's at disadvantage. Okay. Gets plus three. Uh, 19 and 12. Uh, so 12 plus three, 15. 15 is the the save so it saves okay does it take any damage from the necrotic uh yes it takes uh let's see i, I believe it is a d6 uh yes one d6 necrotic so let me roll that for you uh four points necrotic damage there you go uh camille you are up next with the eight so is it injured at all it, is it just now. did. <laughs> um, you should just fireball the big wooden deck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, or I could cast Fog Cloud. That's always a good one. Out towards him, right? <laughs> he, he's, he's in the center of the deck. I know. I was about to say. <laughs> I, I'm kidding. Um, I guess I'll do Shocking Grasp. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, 14 to hit the mana core. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Seven. Uh, I don't think you got enough in you there. Mm -hmm. uh, Daphne, you're up. Right. Come on, tiefling. Come on, paladin. Right. Bring the heat. 15, 18 to hit. Uh, 15 hits, 18 hits. Okay. And then I can expend a spell slot for Divine Smite, right? Mm hmm Whoa. Oh my god. Um, moving my mouse? My computer. Okay. All right, so let's do this first one. Ten damage. Plus, uh, is math. Kill it. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So a total, total all over is 23 damage in all. That works. Uh, new round. Let's see what I'm gonna. Uh, do. Don't forget a extra roll a d6, Daphne, for necrotic damage. Or oh, do is, I roll it? Is that only when you hit it, or it's when anybody hits it? It's hexed. You go ahead and roll it. All right. Roll. 
Uh, <laughs> one point of necrotic damage. Oh, you should let me. I rolled six. Yeah. <laughs> Wah wah! New <laughs> round. Uh, Manicor gets a bite, and it gets a claw. The bite will go since you three are the only ones engaged. Uh, bite goes four. One, two, three, four. It hates you, Zadar. <laughs> uh, and a one for the claw. So bite on Zadar. Uh, claw on Camille. Uh, Zadar. I'm gonna try to dodge what I can. So. Uh, Fifteen. Uh, 15 misses. And Camille, uh, 11. I know ah, that's no. <laughs> Uh, poop. Uh, Zadar, you're up. Okay, uh, it is going to have to do a constitution save again. Uh, oh, son of a... <laughs> that's one. Okay. Not to hex myself, but it's been a while since I've rolled a one. <laughs> So it saved. I tried to fire off uh, frost fingers, and uh, it, it's it's a cone of frost, basically. Small oh, cone of frost. Really? That's what you did in the rain? I made sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what? Let's let's have a little fun here. Uh, Zadar, well, if I did it in the rain, I mean... Zadar, your number is even. Okay. Camille odd so you are not affected by the ice balls uh one daphne odd is also not affected so nice you guys got lucky yeah uh, <laughs> there are sailors on that side uh getting ready to shoot crossbow bolts four even they're going to shoot at disadvantage hopefully i can now start rolling ones and shoot you guys uh, <laughs> da, 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 da. uh camille you're up so can this thing talk i don't, should be I, I don't know you hit it for 28 hit points i don't think this thing's gonna talk <laughs> well, if anything it's it's gonna be cursing our asses <laughs> You can try and talk to it. It might answer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? Persuasion. Oh, Lord. <laughs> cool. 20. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> oh, no. He natted it, huh? There it is. I don't know, Frank. <laughs> Which one is it? The root beer dice? The root yeah. beer dice. It falls away. That's a 20. Uh, <laughs> but I didn't, yeah, I didn't put my modifier on there. Neither did I. Uh, <laughs> uh, we both got natural 20s. Uh, so maybe we like each other? Possibly. Daphne? Uh, <laughs> let's, let's see what Daphne does. Uh, you hear your colleague attempt to speak with it, and it seems to raise an eyebrow a la spock in star trek what would you like to do kill it <laughs> you want me to kill it i don't i'm i don't want you to do anything that's up to you you do whatever you want um we could make it our friend i cast <laughs> zone of truth on them interesting okay <laughs> Okay, Camille. No, that might be a good thing. <laughs> it's my turn. Let's do a straight up D twenty roll. See how this goes. Good job. You got a parlay. Here, Weezer. Weezer. <laughs> Seven. I got a six. Uh, are you the ones that killed my mate? Oh, God. No. Uh, Zone of Truth takes effect. Daphne, clearly this is what this creature wanted to ask. So it's not trying to be deceitful at this point in time. It was a ship just like this came by two days ago and killed my mate. How long was the ship in port for? Eight. No, two they days ago. Well, Month. No. Okay, so yeah, there's no way it could have been them before we got here. Persuade me. 
Well, no, I'm asking you, like out of game. Correct. Okay. Yeah. No, there's n not not it's a not, chance not to hunt. cut her. Yeah. Okay. No, Zero chance of the cutter. We did not do this. The ship was in port over here for a month. No. Persuasion. It's a... So wait, what do you guys have to do? Until the spell ends, a creature that enters the spell's area 16. for the first time or starts its turn there must make a charisma saving throw. I rolled a six. Oh, so I, I knew your zone of truth would work. Um, may I inspect the ship? Um, well, that would be up to the captain. I look to the captain. Hell no! Oh, come on! I don't want this thing roaming around. We'll go with it. Persuade me. Yeah. Jesus. This is only going to hold out so long. Oops. 17. Fine, but you're responsible for any damage. Fine. <laughs> I asked the manacor on the other ship, did they, did the crew look like cats by any chance? I don't know. I wasn't oh. there. Oh. I was told by the peregrine falcons that haunt this region that this was where my beloved fell. I'm sorry for your loss. Nice save. Uh... <laughs> He goes down. He is quite a beefy creature. <laughs> he will want to inspect the common areas, and when you get below deck, uh, the scratching of his claws on the wooden deck will alert one of the Telosians. <laughs> if it's a three, it's the vomiter. It is a one. Uh, one of the Telosians hears the scraping, opens up the door, and looks out, and freezes. <laughs> Closes the door. <laughs> Stop! It's fine. We got this. Just shut the door. Takes a step back, shuts the door. <laughs> I knew it. I knew uh, it. You guys go down into the hold. Uh, you notice that they're goats, sheep. Uh, things of that nature. Could we offer you one for a meal? I he was gonna he was gonna ask if he could have uh, <laughs> one of the small goats. Yes. <laughs> By all means. You guys are gonna have to pay for that shit. You we know, got, pay we for got it. money. Yeah, we got okay. money. It's a, it's all good. <laughs> so he takes it in his muscular arms. <laughs> uh, feels the fact that his beloved is not here. So you know nothing about. What happened with her? No. She was out hunting and uh, she was befelled by cruel and unusual individuals. So the, the Falcons, did they give you any information? That yeah, was a ship. And that's it. Just a ship. Uh -huh. Daphne, what were you saying? Wait, how does he know that she died terribly? The, the, the Falcons, Falcons told her. I would think the Falcons would be able to give you more information than that. They have what if they were eyesight. lying? Falcons well, don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> Falcons are like that. <laughs> Falcons take... would have good enough eyesight to be able to tell you what kind of ship it was. Well, I, I say, well, clearly uh, I asked the creature's name. Mulva. <laughs> nice. It's a very advanced, intelligent creature. The Peregrine Falcons, I may not have the intelligence to accurately describe what they see. I know Falcons are somewhat intelligent, but yeah. Well, the Manicore is not that intelligent. He's got a seven. It's oh, flattery. Okay. It's yeah. flattery. Okay. Well, uh, uh, I tell him all that. I'm like, if you ever, we're, this is where we're going. If you ever need a friend, you can look us up. You've got a friend in me. That's it. Uh, he gets up to the top deck, holds uh, the goat-like cosette, and uh, <laughs> the captain, whoa, 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 oh, whoa, she's so whoa, cute. whoa, whoa, what the hell is going on here? He needed a meal. It's either it or the crew. Uh, I'll pay you. Okay. We'll pay you. 
That'll work. Uh, the creature, uh, injured, flies off, takes flight, and heads back towards the coastline. I take Hex off the, the creature. Well, that was fucking light of you. Uh, <laughs> the storm begins to intensify ever-increasing raindrops. And the ship begins to pitch. You guys want to stay up top or go below yet? Weather started getting rough. <laughs> you guys are going to be on Gilligan's skiff. I don't know. I feel like I need to stay up top. All right. Yeah, we're, we're keeping an eye up top. Or at least Sadar is. You aren't. You're vomiting, You're everyone. Am I still vomiting? <laughs> All day long, bitch. Uh, <laughs> That's a one. You're you you'll be lucky if I let you roll normal tomorrow. We'll get uh, a aid tomorrow. That's right. Yeah. Daphne, what do you want to do? The storm's getting worse. Ah, she'll stick aboard. What do you want to do? Say... If I go underneath, is the ship just going to sink or something? <laughs> if it does, uh, you'll go down with the Talosians. With, not on. It's so <laughs> <laughs> yes, your two associates is one of them is going to continue to harf over the side. Yeah. The other one's going to enjoy the lack of sunlight. And I'm holding her hair. <laughs> That's important. Put it in. Put gum in it. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> I think by this time, Camille, I have it. I have it in a ponytail. Okay. I have a what spray. do you want to do, Daphne? I'm going to go on the opposite side of them. Oh, you don't like the smell, do you? <laughs> Yeah, uh, or the sound they used to put in the hallway sawdust <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah throwing sawdust everywhere uh the storm really intensifies uh they take the sails up uh and the captain wessel tells you eh, we're gonna be a little bit late getting in but we should get in by tomorrow about dinner time dinner dinner, dinner. <laughs> Sorry. Yep, and she continues to heave uh you guys stay atop Watch a somewhat stunted uh, sunset through the rain clouds. But as day turns to night, the clouds start to break up and the rain begins to lessen in Red its at intensity. night, sailor's delight. Exactly. Uh, you guys uh, wake the next morning and you are traveling closer to the coastline. Uh, and you can already see it's open fields with some sparse outcroppings of trees uh the land is still level so you know you're not in telosian territory yet because there are no cliffs and zadar at disadvantage roll con uh, con oh please oh, son of a bitch it, it, does it count it rolled like out of my box and onto the, <laughs> onto yes. the deck. <laughs> as long as it doesn't hit the floor Wow. Uh, That's why I asked. <laughs> good news is you're losing a lot of weight, chubs. <laughs> Her boobs will be deflated. That's right. You do uh, realize I can <laughs> adjust <sad>. all that. <laughs> right now, you don't want to adjust shit. <laughs> uh, good news, uh, they're serving eel oh. aboard the ship today. Oh. <laughs> Nobody's uh, eating today. Zadar, you want to eat that? Uh no, I. If we have iron rations, Is I'll be fried? eating iron rations. <laughs> it's boiled. Oh yeah, it's the ship. Yeah, yeah right. boiled eel. Uh, the good news is you're starting to see a lot more shipping traffic. Uh, small fishing boats, uh, some barges running alongside the edge, uh, and as the afternoon progresses, it is clearly obvious you are coming into a large port region. Uh, as the sun starts to dip, you see the outline of a massive city. Uh, Captain Wessel tells you, Behold, Cathaway. Uh, this place is hopping. If you thought the docks in Cacophony were busy, uh, these docks put them to shame. So we're there like country bumpkins. You are country bumpkins. Where you had six slips in Cacophony, you have 25 oh, shit. in Cathaway. This place is a huge, sprawling city fed by a river that cuts the city in two. Dear God, I'm short. I'll get lost. 
a small boat comes aside the uh, cutter and Captain Wessel yells over the side to them. You guys are third in line to dock. Uh, the sun continues to set. Torchlights crop up along the city, and it looks like the city is kind of in a, a bowl or crevice area with the water, the river cutting through it. A lot of flotsam, a lot of garbage uh, brush up against the cutter. Any turtle uh, shells? Uh, no turtle shells. Hmm. Uh, as you see, as you watch the shoreline, you see uh, a lantern, a hooded lantern, give three quick bursts, and Captain Wessel reports that we are headed into dock. You guys pull into the slip. The Talosians slowly come up from below deck. Uh, one is still looking as peaked as Zadar. Uh <laughs> Sailors tie off the cutter, and you find yourself in a row of merchant ships. Uh, it appears as though the end of the workday is here, as a lot of the sailors and porters are headed for different places in Cathaway, most likely taverns and inns. What would you like to do? Before we disembark, I make like a curtain. I use minor illusion around and I change my appearance. I come out. I'm like a burly half orc deckhand. Okay. <laughs> Swaggering on out. Uh, I got my sea legs now. I think I'm uh, good. <laughs> no, changing shape does not eliminate that. I know. I know. It's all a ruse. <laughs> so uh, I'm a trickster, man. <laughs> so... With a one? No. <laughs> But we're in port now, so... That's know. true. So do, do we... They left their mounts here, so are we going right now? Or are we going in the morning? Good question. Uh, Talana goes ahead and releases Hemp to the Seductive, who greets you warmly and asks if there were any problems. Somebody <sighs> tugs at her robe and whispers in her ear, and she's like, You fought a flying lion? Nah. Yes. Sort of. That's all in a day's work. Okay. Uh, apparently, the Talosians have been talking about it, and they were pretty fucking impressed. Uh, she points out that she, uh, well, Talana will make uh, arrangements to get you guys a room, and you will leave in the morning. So... Uh, Where are they going to stay? Same place. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're they're going. A runner has been sent to go ahead and get uh, rooms made. Uh, I'm looking. Bear with me, uh, because I already have a few things here since we've been doing this. Uh, they suggest the Watchtower Inn. Which is where they stayed before. Are they playing Hendrix there? They are not sure who James Hendrix is. <laughs> uh, there is a place called the Portcullis Bar nearby. Uh, there are several other taverns available. Uh, the Talosians, glad to be on terra firma, uh, all head to the inn. Uh, and Talana tells you that you guys will meet in the common room of the Watchtower Inn in the morning. Until then, you are free to shop, merry make, whatever the hell you want to do. All right. Awesome. We're into port. Is there yeah. a map of the city? <laughs> Shopping. Uh, there is no map. There are several people around that you can ask. Psst. Hey, you. Me? Yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, have you heard of Dwayne the Brick Johnson? Yeah. Everybody's heard of Dwayne the Brick Johnson. <laughs> Where's he at? I don't know. <sighs> Do you know I... about the UCFC? Maybe. For your trouble. How much? I don't know. <laughs> Depends, man. Ten gold. <clears throat> yeah, he, uh, 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 he, uh,
have, have, I have heard of you. Oh no, I'm uh, I'm on the clock right now. Doing what? Uh, I'm a porter. I move stuff. No. Ah. I'm moving goods. I'm, I move goods. Well, is there somebody that could take us there? Uh, or you give us a good map? One my associate uh, can uh, take you there. Uh, as you can see, this is the slip that you landed. Each slip here marks four ships. You guys will have gone around the corner and up here. As you can tell, the proximity to the main gate is rather close. Mm -hmm. Across the uh, alleyway right here is the tavern, uh, the Portcullis Bar. Uh, a little street urchin named... Jumbo uh, is waved over by the dock hand. Not Skippy uh, Lee. Not Skippy Lee. Uh -oh. <laughs> this, is a, this is a human teenager. Okay. <laughs> uh, the porter whispers something into his ear, gives him a shiny gold piece, and uh, says, "Yeah, yeah, you guys, uh, you guys, uh, you guys, uh, you guys follow me, yeah, because I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I uh, know where he's at." Okay. Is he from like? Brooklyn? But like outside of Brooklyn? Possibly. Yeah, he's not some New Jersey shit rat, that's for sure. Oh, <laughs> oh. You shut your trash mouth. <laughs> no one in Jersey Tom. <laughs> She's not Canadian, for God's <laughs> sakes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Jimbo uh, says, yeah, I know where he's at. Yeah, <laughs> she muted it. <laughs> so, do you? Is that what you guys wanted to do? I mean, if you guys are cool with it, I'll follow your lead. Okay. Jimbo's gonna take you to this corner lot. You guys uh, walk the length. There are a lot of ships in port right now. Uh, and for the life of me, my apologies, I cannot figure out what the name of this fucking place is, because I know I took a group through here. Uh, Joe's Crab Shack. Nope, that uh, is further. Oh, there it is. <laughs> That's right. Uh, the sign above the door reads Salty's Tavern. Oh, okay. Uh, there is loud music being played in there. Uh, possibly GNR. Mm. Nice. That's nice. right. Gonads not required. <laughs> So, uh, do you guys want to enter? Uh, sure. Uh, if you could describe the smell of this place, it would be what you smelled with Zadar. Vomit, uh. sawdust, uh. and the color brown. This place is filled with a variety of, shall we say, interesting individuals. Uh, in the back, everybody give me a straight up D20. Seven. Uh, 14. Yeah. What was it, Daphne? Oh, sorry. Like, every time you share your screen, it brings it to full screen for me. 20? 20. You notice in the very back of this establishment is a large wheel with nails around the edge. It kind of looks like a wheel of fortune. But in the middle of it, uh, there's an outline. <laughs> of like where a human <laughs> being would go and as it spins you notice manacles bang off some of the nice. nails uh, a large group of individuals are back in that region playing some type of card game uh, they are getting loud boisterous and belligerent jimbo <laughs> looks around uh he 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 was uh just uh, just here hmm? i thought he was gonna ago. take us to the ucfc i thought you wanted to see uh dwayne the brick johnson oh well, i did but then he's like i don't know where he is so i'm like no that was UCFC? the porter that didn't know where he was uh -huh. So the porter called over Jimbo, and Jimbo said he knew where Dwayne the Rock Johnson is. I think we had the brick. <laughs> a miscommunication. Well, that being said, Jimbo says, uh, 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 I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, let me look around. Stay here. Let me look around. Okay. He melts into the crowd. Uh, there's a little shoving, a little pushing, a uh, little yelling back and forth. Everybody give me a perception check. Mm. 
Ugh, God. Eight. Uh, 25. 11. Uh, Daphne, Camille, you don't notice it. Zadar, you do. There seems to be a transaction a few tables away as some interesting looking sailor types uh, have thrown a very large pelt uh, on top of a table. Uh, it looks like a lion. Oh, pelt. no. This is not going to stand, I guys. I demand satisfaction. <laughs> yeah. I can't. We're playing until 10, so. <laughs> <laughs> but um bum Ah, uh, So there you have it, boys and girls. Okay. Um, yeah, I point this out to Daphne and Camille. Raucous laughter and uh, pantomime display indicates that these guys are, in fact, the ones that slew the manacore, uh, whose pelt they currently have. Uh, and there appears to be a rather large pot uh, being offered for it. Hmm. How many of them are there? Uh, there are three on one side, three on the other. Should I frighten them? Are you thinking? Do we know? Are they? Are all of them from the same ship, or like some of them from the ship? And they're they're not? trying to sell it. So one group's going to be from the ship. One's probably trying to buy it. Right? That would be a fair assessment. Yeah. So can with uh, the twenty five that I that I rolled, would I be able to perceive who's doing the like talking about? Slaughtering uh, the the manticore, or the three on the right are selling the manticore pelt. The three on the left are purchasing said pelt. Okay. Oh, there's another one out there. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Old hearted man. Yeah. <laughs> About that time, the doors in the back burst open. All right, all right, all right. Oh, no. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey is here. I was about a to say. individual in purple apparel, a large hat, and a large ostrich feather saunters in with an entourage. All right, all right, all right. Who's ready to start drinking? And who's this? Uh, who are you asking? <laughs> I guess the guy that wants to start drinking? Uh, he's on the other side of the bar right now. Oh, you um, can grab a waitress if you want. Great, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's Maddie, the magnificent. Why is it a female or a male? The waitress or the v verbose person. The verbose person. It's a male. So why is he? So he looks a lot like Matthew McConaughey for some reason. <laughs> okay. And why is he magnificent? <laughs> okay. Maybe I should have been Jessica Rabbit instead of the half orc. Bur uh, <laughs> too, too late now. All right, all right, all right. Uh, he starts buying rounds, throwing gold everywhere. Oh, nice. Uh, certainly, the other patrons appear to be happy. Has my nausea subsided by this point? I would think so. Huh? Not with a number one. You, <laughs> How long is this going to go for? <laughs> All day long. So oh, are the man. people at the table with the pelt, are they imbibing? Uh, they are curious because the three selling don't know who this individual is. Uh, the three buying uh, put the brakes on the purchase because, hey, hey, best beer is free beer. Uh, as you watch Maddie the Magnificent wander by, uh, he has this annoying habit of everybody he passes. <laughs> <laughs> He's a finger gun kind of guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he also gives a little cheek pinch to the ladies who swoon in his wake because, of course, it's Maddie the Magnificent. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So they say. He's a purveyor of enlarged potions. <laughs> uh, what do you guys want to do? Hmm. It appears as though the sale's been put on hold. Yeah. What do we do? Uh, 
I mean, we don't have any way to get in touch with the the manicure. A pause. That means let's draw a card. Oh. Uh oh. We took uh, too long. <laughs> the front door smashes open, and a halfling comes running through, oh, chased by some fat guards. Uh, the halfling will. Let's see if he goes after you, goes after the sails, goes after Maddie, or goes after somebody else. Boom! One to two, three to four, five to six. He collides with none other than the burly half-orc Zidar. Who, who is this? The, uh, uh, the halfling? halfling being chased by guards. Okay. I will do a dexterity check to see if he's knocked to the ground. <laughs> Uh, 11. Uh, he's knocked off center. Uh, the two guards chasing him are drafting. He begins to throw uh, mugs and anything he can get his hands on. Does this guards. halfling look familiar? <laughs> nope. Ever, nope. Seen, ever seen her before in your life? Oh, <laughs> oh, okay, okay. For a minute, I thought maybe Skippy stood <laughs> stowed away. away. Stowed away. Yep, <laughs> nope. Uh, nope, this lady is uh, screaming her innocence and flinging stuff. Wow. If you roll below a five, one of those mugs is going to hit you. 13 and an 18. Uh, her aim is true, and she connects with each guard, uh, dousing them in alcohol and causing them to stumble. She is sprinting towards the back when Maddie the Magnificent reaches out. And latches onto her with a 19. Oh, all right, man. All right, all right. What seems to be the problem there, my dear? Uh, she clearly knows who this is. And she goes, you got to help me. I'm going to hide. And she ducks underneath a table. All three of you see this. The guards wipe the ale out of their eyes, stand up, and look around. And demand to know where Minerva is. Minerva. <laughs> we just got here. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> the crowd does not seem to be law enforcement friendly here as a silence falls over the group. <laughs> There's donuts coming out of a fryer somewhere. Roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's a two. Fourteen. Um. 14. So, oh, uh, 18 with my plus four. So, 19. Uh, both guards zero in on the innocuous comment and don't look very happy. Daphne, you want to intervene or see where this goes? Wait, who are we fighting? Well, nobody's fighting anybody yet. Uh, Camille just insulted the guards. I didn't insult them. I just said there's donuts coming out of a fryer somewhere. Uh, they do not know what the clergy has to do with these donuts. <laughs> <laughs> see? Yeah, see? Wordplay right there, folks. Oh, yeah. So, so Daphne, words, yeah. Uh, these guys uh, these guys aren't looking happy. You aren't sure if they're going to attack Camille or what. Um, I'll just be like, oh, apologize for my friend. She has a donut obsession. <laughs> Persuade me. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> my third 20 of the day. <laughs> Damn. The fat guard takes his sausage sized finger and starts poking you in the chest Daphne and says you keep your friend in line there Missy or you guys are going to the hooskow <laughs> the what? hooskow that means jail jail no. we're not from around here we don't know what hooskow means the hooskow the hooskow Who's is it cow is cow? it? <laughs> we need to milk a cow? They push you out of the way, Daphne, and again begin to search for <laughs> this individual. Nice, uh, uh, I like it, Camille. Nice way to defuse that. <laughs> Cop humor. <laughs> uh, 
uh, Maddie the Magnificent uh, sees the two guards getting closer to the table where Minerva's hiding and goes, hey, 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 you boys look like you could have a drink. How about you get some on old Maddie here and we go ahead and we'll, we'll go ahead and find this, this, this person that you're searching for and we'll turn her over to you guys. But why don't you guys get yourself a drink at the bar uh, as the two guards turn Maddie does the wave behind his head and Minerva is going to snake through the tables <laughs> and right for you guys and the exit behind you. Oh no. <laughs> I'll let her go or do you want to stop her? Yeah, we'll let her go. Or, we'll let I'm her sorry. Go. I'll let her go. It's up to you guys. Yeah, well, uh, I shoot. I, yeah. Now, <laughs> you want to let her go? go? Yeah, why not? Are, are you on a hobby horse? What the hell are you on? <laughs> She's on a chair. It's wow, like, that looks super weird. No, I'm on a <laughs> Oh, okay. Is she and sitting my... on a bouncy ball? Or yeah, something? that's what I was thinking. Uh, <laughs> my legs hurt. My knees hurt. I'm so old. I was going to make a really rude comment, but now I'm not. <laughs> Where's Hannah at? <laughs> ah, there she is. I knew it. <laughs> She's not lurking behind you, so okay. it was kind of questionable. Uh, Minerva sneaks out successfully as Maddie the uh, Magnificent goes ahead. <laughs> wow. Oh, they're messing. There goes our we, frames. <laughs> we, we, we did say mature audiences only. Uh, unfortunately, you hear the sounds of whistles outside, and oh. Minerva returns inside being held aloft by two burly guards who do not look happy. Do they uh, know her? Oh, yes. <laughs> Everybody knows Minerva. Uh, the uh, This burly guard yells out, Jekyll, hide! Are you missing something? They turn around in mid-gulp and immediately set their tankards down and head out dejectedly towards the front door. <laughs> uh, they take possession of Minerva and walk out. The burly guard, who's clearly a sergeant or something, scans the crowd, gives a side eye to Maddie, looks at you guys, and doesn't give a shit, and walks out. Wait, wait, <laughs> who's Jekyll and Hyde? Why do they want her? That's the the guards that chase citizen. Oh, sorry. go about your business, <laughs> or there will be trouble. Trouble. <laughs> you you still have a Robocop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the guards leave uh, with the pall lifted. Uh, the music kicks back up again, and you notice it is three gnomish musicians over in the corner that you clearly did not see because. Their notes. Of course. <laughs> I go up to Maddie and I say, yo, what was up with that? All right, all right, all right. How you doing? How I'm you doing? short. You don't want me. You're the perfect height, my dear. <laughs> what <Whatevs. laughs> <laughs> What was all that about with Minerva? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Whatever she gets herself into trouble. Nothing to, nothing to fret over. Let me buy you a drink, sweetheart. I just don't want her to be in a bad way. Uh, Minerva can take care of herself. All no. right, all right, all right. All right. I am concerned about these people trying to sell this pelt, though. They're selling a cow. Who cares? No, <clears throat> they killed a manticore. Not my man, of course. You wouldn't be concerned if somebody killed your mate? If you had one. Sweetheart, I'm going to have a mate in an hour. I'm going to have a different one in another hour. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I shoot him the finger guns. I'm like, yeah. What that if someone don't. chopped your penis off? Oh. Hadn't happened yet. Well, there see? is no... There, there's not a magical blade among us. But what if it Daphne. did? And they were selling your penis on a table. <laughs> you didn't even have one. No one wants that. 
<laughs> the waitresses uh, look at Daphne and go, oh, yeah, he's got one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You notice one of them has a casual itch. Mm. <laughs> one of the waitresses? <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Lord, no. oh. But Maddie doesn't, so, you know. That we know of. <laughs> yeah. Just so used to it, it's the norm. It's true. <laughs> he just crinkles it up and feeds the small crabs. So <laughs> I, I, uh, they took us to the crab fighting. <laughs> so I'm not, we found it. I'm not going to get to avenge the manticore mate, am I? They're right over there. It appears as though the economic uh, discussion has renewed itself. Mm. If you want to go over and talk to the sailors, go right ahead. Mm. What do you think, guys? Uh, um, well... I mean, I believe in serving justice to something that, you know, we kind of implied we would help. <laughs> All right, let's go over and talk to him. All right. So, uh, I what? guess. What? <laughs> well, that was super rude. Well, we, we we're, noticed. We're in th discussions here. What do you three want? Well, we may be interested also. We might be another party interested in this pelt. Well, that changes everything. And we have money to burn. That really changes everything. I thought it would. The three across the table are like, uh, we've already made the sale. Uh, the sailors in possession of the pelt disagree. <laughs> I'll let you guys work that out while we stand here. Well... You got money to burn. How much is your offer? How much was... Uh, how, hey, how much... That's that's not part of the deal here. Oh, okay. All right. You can either top his bid or beat it. Well, we need to know what, what, his, was bid a, what his bid is. You don't need to know that. You're the ones with money to burn. I'm not going to waste money. So if you're not going to tell me, we'll just take it. How about? <laughs> okay, oh, we're really? doing this. <laughs> uh, oh, my, my cat's doing stuff. <laughs> everybody hears this and uh, clears the room. <laughs> G and R stops playing. <laughs> Gonads not required. Gonads not required. Not required. Stops playing. Uh, the three interested purchasers scooch the tables back and a pall falls over it and softly in the background you hear all right all right all right. <laughs> <laughs> apparently maddie the magnificent likes fighting he likes oh, my ass. Man. <laughs> so uh you're just gonna take this no. What I said was, if you're not going to tell us what your bid was, we might just take it. Are you going to well, tell me what the bid was? I believe. Hold on a second. Let me get, get that bid oh, right here. Oh, boy. Oh, Lord. <laughs> awesome. And he kicks the table at you three. All three of you. Zidar still at disadvantage. Oh, Jim, come on. He's weak from no. hunger. Uh, all three of you give me a deck save to get out of the way. Uh, am I at disadvantage? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you had the shitty rolls, dude, not me. <laughs> 18. My second roll was a natural 20. There you fucker. go. <laughs> Daphne and Zizar dodge out of the way, as does Camille. Uh, the table rolls over, hits a waitress holding a tray full of drinks. The drinks go everywhere, splashing sailors. The sailors take offense. One of them punches the waitress. Oh, there is a the fuck? fight behind you, and there's a fight in front of you. Three of them, three of you. Let's go initiative. Ugh, horrible. Oh, rolling initiative. All right. 18. 
16. At disadvantage? Oh, even on initiative? Seriously? Wow. <laughs> you got two ones. Seven. Come on, it's been hours. Seven. Daphne? 21. There you go. Daphne, you're up first. Uh, there's two lackeys and a uh, badass. They want to fight us? Uh, it looks like uh, it's on because they've drawn weapons because Camille can't shut her mouth. So I take it the badass is the one with the hostile finger. Yep. <laughs> All right. That's cast, the boss. I cast darkness. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, good news, Zadar. Now everybody rolls a disadvantage. <laughs> a double disadvantage? The, including you. Can you see through magical darkness? No, I can. No, you, you can. can't. No, you can't. <laughs> oh, so, can Just I? because you're a tiefling, that doesn't mean you yeah. can see through magical darkness. You, you, can, yeah, you have dark right. vision. No one can, they can't, I can't see them. They can't see me. It's like when you have your eyes closed. Dude. Uh... Darkness descends in uh, the wow. Salty's bar. <laughs> it's a 60-foot radius, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's big. Uh, chaos uh, is ensuing everywhere. You guys cannot see your hand in front of your face. This thing just went from bad to worse. Zadar, good news. Everybody's rolling a disadvantage. So the nice. odds will be even. Okay. Forever in your favor. That's right. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. The 18 was... Yeah, it was you. So okay, go ahead. Uh, I I was disadvantaged, so I was a seven. Yeah, I was oh, eighteen. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. eighteen. Sorry, Camille, you're up. Okay, so dark vision. Does that do anything for me? Nope. Not nope. magical darkness. <laughs> I got it. So. Just when you thought fog cloud was a giant pain in the ass, I here know. comes Daphne. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um leave the room we only need to go to jail on our first day being here your only day you guys, <laughs> you guys were moving out in the morning hard to say now <laughs> well, <laughs> it's, it's still early um we can do our 12 hours to get the so, fuck out <laughs> 12 hours of chaos they're in front of me Eight correct five. people running around me you think so i cast web Boy, we're really making this this interesting. We are. Nicely done. Uh, I did not even consider that one as an action. What is the save on that one? Um, blah, blah, blah. Oh, crap. That's second level, right? There it is. Well, you're close. Web fills a 20-foot cube. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, this says 60, but whatever. <coughs> no, Range. 60 is It covers a 20-foot. creatures foot. lost, restrained, yada, yada, yada. <coughs> what is your uh, spell save? Because they got to make strength saves. Where do I find that at? Uh, on the right, right I think. Mm, 14. Okay, there's three of them. I will go uh, green is the lackey, the others, or the the browns are the lackeys. Huh. Uh, one, a 12, and a 19. Uh, you guys all recognize the arcane chant from uh, your spellcaster and hear... Uh, screaming and shouting ensues. It is pure chaos in front of you, but again, you got no idea. Zadar, you're up. Uh, I summon Omen and okay. uh, use an Omen's keen smell. Uh, I say, Omen, uh, let me know where the, the pelt is, the manticore. Ah, huh? uh, new round. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, 21. Daphne. She's just going to punch a random person. You're muted, dear. <laughs> nope, still muted. I know, so I'm having problems with shouting at myself. <laughs> <laughs> 
So what you want to do? Uh, I don't know yet. What do I want to do? Hmm. Burn it. Wait. Burn it. <laughs> I'm kidding. You can drop darkness or you can attack. <clears throat> Harmless tremors. Uh oh, she's gonna go for a thaumaturgy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking. I don't know. Is this too much? It's a cantrip. I mean, if you want to go for it, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, really freak the place out, open all the windows and doors, just. <laughs> Darkness seeps out into the street. <laughs> you think the people would leave then? If they can find the door. Yeah. Now the people on the fringe, they are not affected by the darkness. Who? Why? Because the size of the tavern. Oh. Uh, but they like see that it's just darkness, but they're not like in it. Correct. <laughs> and GNR starts playing a tune, Three Blind Mice. <laughs> but, like the door and stuff is in the darkness? The front door is. Uh... Hmm. But we have three people in the web. You have no idea how many people are in the web. No. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's dark. <laughs> Well, you could drop the darkness so we could see what's going on. Uh, is there anything next to me? You don't know. You don't know. Would I be able to feel for it? What? Can I feel for a chair? Sure. Oh shit! <laughs> you most certainly can. Somebody's <laughs> getting hit with a chair. <laughs> Give me a straight up D twenty. <laughs> oh my it's in that one ah. nice uh you feel a table leg but it's connected to maddie isn't it <laughs> ah, so bad all right i pull on it whatever it is <laughs> like me leg me leg somebody's got me leg <laughs> <laughs> One of the purchasers had a wooden bag leg, and you are now yanking him down to the ground. Uh, everybody hears a thump, and me leg, me leg. Uh, Camille, you uh, get bumped into. I whack him with my quarterstaff. At disadvantage. Yeah. Me, uh, Daphne, has, Daphne has a handful of wood. Uh, you, <laughs> you swing your staff uh, and it is unimpeded. That's a miss. Uh, Zadar, uh, your Opus Maximus pops into view and goes, the halfling's got it. Oh, shit. <laughs> is she... Uh... Okay, find me the halfling. She's right there, boss. <laughs> uh, right next to me? How far? <laughs> right next to your friend. Where's my friend? <laughs> Left, right, front? Right. Right. Okay. <laughs> uh, I am going to reach for the halfling. <laughs> sure. Hit at disadvantage. Okay. Okay. I miss. <laughs> I rolled a two and a six. So you missed. Uh, let's see if a blade comes crashing down on somebody. Whew. Well, that's so much for my good rolls. Uh, <laughs> you hear a saber wish through the air and you're not positive but you're pretty sure over the me leg me leg you hear all right all right all right 
Uh, top of the order, Daphne, you got wood in hand. Can I swing him? He, well, you're a tiefling, so okay. Uh, pick him up and yeah. whip it good. But I want to like do it and like let go of him, like swing and let go. Okay. So as you pick him up, you are facing this way. Are you going to spin him to the left or are you going to spin him to the right? To the left. Okay. Oh. I, I'm going to do the... Ch -ch 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 -ch. You tell mm -hmm. me when you let go. Okay? okay. Straight ahead. Mm -hmm. It's going to be when it gets to your shoulder. Yeah, like there. So straight out? Mm -hmm. The, the 9 o'clock position? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you hear... Ah! And then you hear... All right, I'll pull up. <laughs> <laughs> As Maddie the Marvelous is decked by Peg Leg Pete uh, outside of the darkness. Camille, you're up. Uh, you feel a jostling next to you. You're pretty sure you felt a hand. You aren't sure what the hell's going on. Okay. Um, can I cast light? Uh... Yes. Okay, I do that. I think those cancel each other out. <coughs> uh, you know what? I'm, I'm not back. sure. I'm not sure about that. <clears throat> I got above 50. I'll say they do. <laughs> so okay. I, I don't know if they do, but you know what? Tonight, you're the it. DM. And in yeah. Cathaway, they do. Cacophony, <laughs> maybe not. But Cathaway, <laughs> they certainly do. It's a dim light. Okay. Uh, as light and darkness fights. Uh, Zadar. <laughs> Zadar. <laughs> There's a lot of grayish figures moving around. Uh, Zadar, uh, Mr. Peepers tells you, you better duck, boss. I, I, Peepers? he, I, he, I no. heed his word and I duck. <laughs> okay. Uh, is that the only thing you're doing? Uh, yes. Uncanny dodge, whatever's coming after me. <laughs> <laughs> now the important one so first one goes after Daphne uh, the second one goes after you does a 15 hit you Zidar no it does not uh, does a 21 hit you Daphne I think that's a yes. That uh, would be a yes. Uh, Daphne, you feel cold steel connect with your arm for five hit points of damage as you were slashed across your right arm, having just launched Peg Leg Pete. <clears throat> Asshole. Uh, in the dim light, you notice two of the lackeys are stuck in white sinewy strands, but the main boss... Uh, is peering through the grayish darkness and has successfully connected with you. Uh, yes, and, and she's uh, he's the one that cut you. Now, um, can I cash? Cash? Whoa! Can I cast hellish rebuke? Sure can. Okay, so I do that. How much damage? You got to roll damage. It's 19 damage, yeah. Holy shit. Uh, I'm going to have to make another deck save. <laughs> I do. I survive. Uh, I do not go flying back into the webs. Uh, everybody perception check. I'm still at disadvantage, ain't I? Yep. Seriously? <laughs> 11. Oh, we got a lot of time here. I believe you just said that. Uh, Daphne, the gray mist of the light and dark spell colliding allows you to see two lackeys in the web. Your hellish rebuke just damn near fried your attacker. Minerva has somehow arrived and has the pelt... What the uh, hell? Standing right next to Camille and Zadar's Mr. Peepers is uh, hovering above, uh, giving him uh, the idea. 
uh, Camille with a three, you don't notice any of this bullshit going on. You do notice, uh, all right, all right, it's okay, dude. Just get off me. Uh, and you see some kind of grayish figure attack Daphne. You're up. Wait, can I yell at her? Like, reach for the sky? <laughs> yes, it's a bank robbery. <laughs> <laughs> You can yell, but she only got a three for perception. She couldn't even hear me? She can hear you. Oh, then can I see, like, what side it is to her? If I'm, like, left, right. Right side. Yeah. Like, Camille, reach to your right side. They're, like, the same height, right? So yes. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Camille, give me a straight-up D20. Let's make sure you hear. Because <clears throat> you were focused on all right, all right, get off me. <laughs> 12. Yeah, you hear her. Okay. So, she needs help. Everything I have is too strong. Just reach for the person. Just grab her. Just get some rope. Okay, just reach for them. Uh, yeah, like a hug. Hit her, uh, not at disadvantage. Twenty-one. Oh yeah, uh, you put her in the death grip, and it looks like Glow, Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling, is nice <laughs> on, on on tune. Uh, Mr. Peepers uh, says, "You're on your own, boss." <laughs> what the hell, woman? <laughs> you asked. He told you where the fucking thing was. Right. His right. His work here is done. He's gonna go over and see uh, Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right, Orb, Orby, <laughs> hey Orby, I'm gonna call oh. you Ray Orby. Oh uh, no, you're my Ray Orby son. <laughs> I mean, I can just unsummon him. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I'll I'll let him say hi. So, <laughs> so I'm on my own. So what do I see? Uh, what was your role? Eleven. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see. Uh, two halflings locked together to your left. Uh, you see Peg Leg Pete getting up off of uh, Maddie, uh, and you see Daphne yelling at Camille. Okay. You also see a warrior. Uh, Warriors. Uh, slashing his blade in the air, getting ready to attack. Okay. He's very charred. More charred. Is this is his ire focused on me or he's his just... ire is focused on Daph? Well, no, he he tried to hit you. His ire is focused on you and Daphne. Okay, all right. Well, I mean, I'm engaged. This guy's an asshole. So <laughs> I pull the scimitar, green flame blade, it, and I'm gonna take a swipe at him. Sure, so, hit him. All right, uh, dagger in my offhand too. Okay. Um, my new dagger. <laughs> uh, let's see. Nude? Some... Did he say nude dagger? I'm at disadvantage, dagger. ain't I? You bet your ass you are, Mr. Nuge. One. Nude dagger. Ted Nugent. Son of a bitch. First roll was a 17. Second was an 11. Oh, wah. <laughs> <laughs> Second roll? Uh, yes, for the, for the offhand. Yeah. Okay. Hey, the first roll's good. Oh, son of a bitch. Thirteen. The first roll was a uh, was oh, 13 hits. Yeah, thirteen hits. hits. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. Uh, if it's the, it's that flame war dagger. Uh, let's see. Okay. All right. That's uh, eight points of uh, damage from that, but I also get two d four. Uh, that's eight plus green flame blade. Uh, um, you're on the dagger. The green flame blade missed. Oh, damn it! I should have casted it on both. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you can. Can you? I think you can. I'm not. No, no. That that would be broken. That yeah, would just be yeah. broken. Yeah. So so a total of sixteen points damage. 
close. Uh, he's not doing so hot. Uh, let's see what he does. Fuck this noise. Take the fucking pelt. All right, all right, all right. That was successful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, good choice. Thank you. Uh, Camille, grapple against me. Roll a d20 and add your strength or your dex bonus. Mm. Not bad for Minerva. Ew, 19. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 16 was my best roll. Uh, she is trying to pull away from you while holding the Manicore pelt. What is she doing? She's trying to hey, steal it. It was just laying there. She's not stealing it. You know what? She rebuffs your uh, accusation and says, I'm not saying this no. thing was thrown away on the floor. I, uh, it is mine. You know, I don't care about that. I just care about the justice. The thing that that was, its mate is coming for that. So do you want to attach you, yourself do to you that? Do you want to be attached to that? <sighs> I'll we risk hurt. it. Really? <laughs> Seriously? Really? You ever seen a manticore? You gotta stitch it up so it looks like you are in the manticore. That's fine. She's not. Bitch. She's. You're she's not big enough. <laughs> you. I'm gonna wrap you in this pelt and we're gonna go. I. I'll sell it to you guys. No, you're coming with. Okay, where are we going? We shouldn't go out the front door. I'm just saying. You know the way out of here through the back? Yeah, it's back there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's go out the back. Uh, in the back, uh, you find an open kind of atrium thing with the surrounding buildings forming a rectangle. This area seems to be a public common area. There's a few small trees, uh, a well back there. Uh, looks like a common area from like an apartment complex. A uh, few people around, one guy pissing on a wall. Nice. Of course. <laughs> Dressed in a Santa suit for some reason. <laughs> nice. Yeah, he's got a red suit on with white trim. It's Winterfest in in Cathaway. <laughs> he's attempting to write his name in the grass. Nice. In the grass. Nice. No snow so, in Cathaway. We have yep. the pelt. <clears throat> yep. We have Minerva. Yep. And that's it. That's it. Nobody else followed you out. So we don't have anybody that killed the manicore. Nope. Ah. They're inside. I defer to my compatriots. I mean, I'm all for justice. I mean, as long as we can secure this, you know, I'm, I'm good with taking them out. Daphne? I agree. Take him out. Hey, you guys want to go back inside? Uh, I, I tell Minerva, I'll give you 20 gold to sit put and out of sight with this. Is there any way to, like, call the Manticore? Not that we know of. Yeah. No, Verizon has not been <laughs> invented yet. And I don't have sending, so I can't I can't call it. So. Minerva accepts the deal. 20 gold pieces. Okay. You'll get it when we get back. <laughs> half now, half later? Uh, I. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She All takes right. 10 gold pieces and sits down. Okay. Protect that with your life. Oh, I guarantee it. <laughs> All right. So if we're going back in, let it. Let's go. <laughs> Who's going in first? Um, I'll go in first. D12. Uh, can I take my darkness away? I assumed you already had, but yeah. sure. Uh, six. Fair enough. Uh, you walk in. Uh, Maddie is uh, getting ready to leave. Uh, you notice uh, there are gaps in the web. Okay, so the two lackeys have gotten away. Been right. cut away. Yep. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, it looks like we're going to have to go looking for him. Well, they didn't go out the back door. Yep. So, as long as she's staying out of sight and, you know, hoping for money, <laughs> I think we got it secured. If not, we'll find her. So, sure. That sounds like an awesome plan. <laughs> you stole well, it. Well, Mark Omen remembers what she, what she smells like. So, I always pull him up. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, let's. Did he, did Omen smell her? Yeah. Yeah, that's how he found her in the darkness. They got keen smell. Oh, I thought he saw her through magical darkness. They, they can see invisibility. I don't think they can see through magical Oh, well, that would, have been, that would have been different. I thought he could see. Okay. Mm -mm. No, no. Uh, I was relying on his keen smell. That I think I said, no, I think I just said find her. Yeah. No, you yeah. said find the pelt. Find the pelt. That's, yeah. Sorry, I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't clear, but that's what I meant. But anyway, yeah. So, so what do you want to do? Uh, Camille, shall we pursue? Yes. Okay. You guys go out the front door. Everybody give me an investigation roll, please. Okay. 12. Son of a bitch. My first was 25. My second's 14. Uh. He's just laughing his ass off. <laughs> Daphne? Sorry. What am I doing? Hannah's even it, yelling at me. And Hannah, knock it off. Uh, investigation roll. He goes, did you do it yet? I was like, do what? The investigation. I'm like, no. 10. That's why she's yelling at me. To roll. Uh, you don't notice it. The other two do. Uh, your prey is about a block away. Um, yeah, I mean, um, we pursue. <laughs> okay. Uh, they see you coming. And they go down a dark alley. Okay. <laughs> I... Um... I pull my crossbow, cock it, <laughs> and I'm ready. <laughs> you guys pursue into the alley? Mm -hmm. A lot of homeless and vagrants here. <clears throat> uh, coin, coin, sir? Coin, kind, sir? Madam, coin? I hold up the crossbow. <laughs> coin? Coin, no. not crossbow? Coin? <laughs> uh, a small little urchin <clears throat> with big anime eyes. Uh. <laughs> I'm so hungry. <gasps> Take the eyes. Good luck. <laughs> yes, let's <laughs> let's blind street urchins in the alley of Cathaway on our first night in town. <laughs> oh man. Oh, man, oh, man. Uh, meanwhile, with all the vagrants blocking you, you can see that your quarry is now expediting their pursuit away from you running down the alley um yeah if we can push our way through um, sure it's a kid i i, I see oh it. i you started oh, like throw the, the kid the, don't push the urchins were kind of anime you. eyes big anime eyes <laughs> yes they're getting sexually assaulted by tentacles these are you know the japanese eyes on everything yeah i'm know. so Come on our tiefling sir. doesn't care about kids right i'm nah, reading you just like there's speed bumps exactly <laughs> do you want to charge through them or give them some money or what do you guys want to do charge through them Nice. Uh, Daphne thunders her way through like Thunder the Barbarian. Uh, give me three d20 rolls, just base d20s. Okay. No, Daphne. Oh. She's leading the charge. Ah, oh, 10, 6, and 2. All wow. of them. Wow, nice. You slip in a pile of feces at the end. Uh, give me a dex roll. Ugh. 20... Oh, okay. You smell it as you thunder your way down with the Baywatch theme in the background. Uh, God but is you, not here. Knock it you, off. You definitely stepped in 
poop. Uh, Zadar and Camille, are you following behind her? Can yes. I wipe it on a child? You'll have to stop. I'm going to stop Don't and wipe stop. it on a child. Uh, D12 against me. Let's see if there's a child around. Seven. Ten? Uh, <laughs> there's a child right there. Could I have some money for some food? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. Are you going to wipe your boot, your shit boot on a child? Yes, of course she is. Uh, uh, Zanar and Camille, I assume you are going to trudge ever forward. Yes, past, ever forward. Past do I do yeah. I see what Daphne did? Oh yeah, you see it plain as day. I, I cast prestidigitation. Oh on, nice. You know, on the kid and Daphne's bit is like Mule, that puts you in the lead. Uh, these guys are hitting the main intersection. What do you want to do? Are they are they in range for web? Yeah. How far ahead are they? Uh, she's already used her web spell. Uh, they're about sixty feet up. Okay, so you said they're about sixty feet up. Damn it! I know yep. there's something that's sixty feet. Kind of thunder wave them through the alleyway. <laughs> yeah, something like that. What are you doing? Are you looking through an actual book of spells? For God's sake. <laughs> yeah, this is all the Three stuff pages. That you've given me. <laughs> There's three, three pages. I'm looking. Thunder wave. At. Let's do it. Oh boy. Fair oh, enough. Man. You're gonna blast them. Yep. Uh, are you using thunder wave or pulse? Thunder wave. What's my save on that? Um. I'm not sure. What What's the your normal save? Uh, on a failed save, the creature takes two eight, two d eight thunder damage. And on a successful save, the creature takes half as much damage. So there's three of them. What's your spell save DC? Lord. Huh, there's good news. There's too many the, papers. To the, the two lackeys fail miserably sure. and are smashed into the corner buildings at the intersection. Uh, the other one does manage to take a knee, but in her horrible state, I don't think that's going to be enough to save her. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those fuckers are dead. Uh, <laughs> All three of them? All three of them, because that's uh, 16. Uh, and she only had five hit points left. So you crack her skull and you embed the other two into corner buildings on the other side of the uh, intersection. However, the thunder wave is powerful enough. Mm -hmm. it, it, uh, right. Let's see if it does structural damage. I hope so. A six and a two. Uh, I would cobblestones. Think of and field stones oh, well, that's not a big deal. Uh, break and you hear timbers and both buildings on either side begin to tilt somewhat oh <laughs> yeah but they don't fall they do not fall there you they go. do not fall <laughs> okay. uh, you have three dead bodies here Mm -hmm. A plume of smoke mm -hmm. from the structural damage, and two leaning buildings. What would you like to do? We win. Call it art. Mm -hmm. Call it art. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is not cacophony, so and we we are guests here, so I think we should beat cheeks and pay off the witnesses. Ain't no witnesses in this location. Okay. Okay. So nobody, nobody saw. Okay. You'll notice that 
that's your in. Oh, okay. I defer to my companions. Uh, if we can surreptitiously get ourselves to safety to the inn, what, what, first of all, we got to get Minerva and get the pelt back. Mm -hmm. so you want to head back to... Uh, I changed my appearance. Hello, <laughs> I'm a freaking shapeshifter. <laughs> I, I turn into like some innocuous human and uh, male or female uh, male male okay. yeah just so I could resist Maddie okay <laughs> maybe, and, maybe maybe he plays uh, both sides of the field you don't know that. that's true. true that's true maybe you uh, like peg leg Pete <laughs> so so I'm gonna head back and uh, uh, get to Minerva Wow. Uh, okay. Uh, you pass through Salty's in, or Salty's bar, get into the courtyard. D12. Let's see oh, if she's there. And you know what? I'm not going to make your roll at disadvantage. I'm just going to have your roll straight up. Okay. Son of a bitch. 11. <laughs> One. The nerve is gone. Yeah. Figured as much. Uh, Santa is now peeing on a different wall. <laughs> I I close my eyes and I summon Omen. I'm like, Omen, <laughs> can can you find any trace of her? And I send him out. <laughs> Everything smells like piss, boss. Nice. Well, I understand that, but you remember what the halfling and the the manticore smell like, right? I remember what the manticore smells like. Okay. Can you find it? It's not in the courtyard. Okay. Uh, give me an investigation roll. All right. Uh, advantage or disadvantage? Disadvantage. Of course. Well, of course it is. All right. Oh, my first roll was magnificent. Okay, my first roll was 25. My disadvantage was 19. Okay. I think the bar. The bar. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, so I head into the bar to find her. Uh, you guys all find Maddie, Minerva, and the three purchasers all sitting at a table. The manicure pelt is in the middle. Okay. Are all three of us are here? I assume. Daphne, did you follow? Yeah, I followed. I assume Camille followed. So all three of you are there. So Maddie, Minerva, and the three purchasers are all haggling over price for the pelt. Um, ugh. I, um... <coughs> I tell them that you gentlemen may not want to deal with this at all. That item is cursed. And I try to do a deception check. <laughs> uh, the nature in which this beast was killed, uh, its meat is going gonna, is gonna to hunt it down and hunt the, uh, who's ever in position, uh, possession of it. Trust me, you don't want that creature coming for you. Uh, before you roll at disadvantage... Minerva looks at you and goes, who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> because you've changed shape. I know. And I'm like, you quiet. And I turn, I, I turn my gaze back to them. <laughs> and I turn my, check at disadvantage. And, and I turn my eyes white. <laughs> All right. Deception check at disadvantage. Okay. Uh, 16. <laughs> right. Sure. Cursed. Who said it? One of the uh, buyers. Pull the scimitar. I level it at his throat. Oh and I, I turn and uh, 
you know, cast Flame Blade. Uh, perception check, all three of you. I'll roll for Camille. A one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at that. Now one. <laughs> <laughs> you said perception check for all three of us? Yep. Okay. Uh, my lowest roll was 23. Daphne? Four. Uh, Daphne and Camille are focused in on the new green flame blade. Uh, one of the buyers raises his hand and looks over and goes, Officer, good evening. <laughs> I am being threatened. You turn, and the cops are there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's, uh, what's with the blade there, Stretch? He's... These three gentlemen are trying to steal stolen merchandise. I purchased this item fairly, and these three are trying to steal it. Well, technically. <laughs> no, technically, no. Because we, 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 we were going to we we were going to outbid them, but they they don't know this. <laughs> I know I changed my appearance, but you know they see the other two behind me. All wrong, all wrong, all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie doesn't say anything. Uh, you guys turn to see what's going on. Minerva is missing. <laughs> Where's the pelt? Is it still on the table? Still on the table. Yeah. Uh, the guard looks at you and says, you best be putting away the blade. Mm, uh, I comply. I turn out the flame and put it back in the sheath. So you say you already bought this item and they're trying to steal it from you. Yes. Uh, the other guys are like, I've never seen this guy before in my entire life. I changed my appearance back in front of Whoa, him. Whoa, what the hell is this bullshit? And it's just like magic, bud. <laughs> let's, let's see how they like that. I turned back into the orc. Uh, one of them really does not like it. The other one is unfazed by it. Okay. You're one of them there changelings, aren't you? It is best Dave Chappelle meme. Yeah. <laughs> You're one of them changelings? I might be. Uh, how about I cut you open and see? Oh, well, that's rude. How about you try? <laughs> Go instigator? What? No, you didn't tell me it was the guard. I thought it was the asshole sitting at the table. It's the guard. Oh, the guard. I wouldn't have talked to him like that. Uh, <laughs> I was going to kick your ass. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no I, I say officer, yes. I, I purchased this item. Uh, the creep. I go into the story. <laughs> okay. Tell him about the creature, when, what ship we're from, and uh, the... Uh, the people that I had purchased this from had killed its mate. I'm trying to get it back and get it to its mate. So, you just got into town and you're sticking glowing blades in people's faces because they're trying to take something that you allegedly purchased earlier. Yes. Who'd you buy, who'd you buy this from? Uh, I don't know. No, uh, the guys that, oh, that were here. Oh, oh, no, the okay. guys that were trying to sell it. Uh, and we saw them, three sailors uh, here uh, at the table. And I, I point to these guys tried to make the purchase. We outbid them. And then they created a brouhaha. Exactly. Here. Yes. Which obviously, officer, you did a great job quelling. <laughs> I wasn't here for that. Uh, Still, you're fine organization. Yeah, thanks. Uh, you <laughs> can uh, retract your lips and go find some whale balm. Uh, sure. <laughs> he asks uh, the guy, right. and he's like, did this guy outbid you? Well, yeah, this guy did. The other guy, you know, these changelings, they come in, and you don't know who you're dealing with. So, you know, this is simply a, a fraud on this guy's part. 
But this guy, this guy right here, this guy bought it fair and square. The other guy, officer, just comes in and sticks a blade in my face, which is what horse about shit. us? <laughs> we were here. You weren't, you weren't doing any talking though. I was still here. <laughs> I thought I thought that guy was your pimp. <laughs> <laughs> I say yeah. my two. Uh, I say my two associates can confirm this. Mm -hmm. Are they changelings too? No, they are not. <laughs> okay. Uh, the dice giveth and the dice taketh away. Uh, okay. He is not going to take it into evidence. He's going to give it to you. I, I thank him for it. I, I take off my cloak and I kind of ra I wrap the pelt up in it. All right, all right, all right. Uh, a guard comes running in. Commander, there's a building about ready to fall over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Fall apart. My God, what kind of... <laughs> uh, you, you hear a strange tune coming from GNR. Okay, do we, do we, well, we might recognize it. You have no idea what London Bridge is. <laughs> Where the hell is London? <laughs> Must be over in the Mercantile Guild. Uh, with the information that a building's going to fall over, the drunks empty the bar. They want to go see it. Okay. And there's no crab fighting, and I didn't get to see Dwayne the Brick Johnson. Nope. Well, the good deal, the good good part about it is they took thunder damage and were yeah. killed so it's it's not obvious how they died <laughs> that is that is true uh we will stop it there for the night uh daphne what'd you think it's good i mean we're not in our town destination yet so i'm stressed out about that uh there was some significant structural damage to the building adjacent to the inn where you're staying oh, we'll, we'll see if you guys have decimated something yet next time uh david <laughs> nice. what'd you think i liked it i i liked it that zadar got to stretch his wings a little bit you know so. yeah almost got his ass beat by the guards <laughs> yeah yeah that's why i tried to talk my way out of it and so. uh carrie what'd you think it was good um I want to kick more ass because I need retribution. Uh, more ass wasn't in this bar. He's in a different bar. Right, right. <laughs> no, but you did a killer job. I mean, I well, got Thunder I, I like the darkness myself. I yeah, mean, that was awesome, yeah. Daphne. I mean, <laughs> total Nothing chaos. Like confusion. And I am so excited to use my upper level spells. Yeah. Uh, we'll see once that building caves in. Yeah, uh, we're out. <laughs> Yeah. Folks, this has been uh, Murder Hobo Inc., the Cacophony Edition. Uh, I forgot to mention uh, Pirate Dog Dice uh, for dice that we're kind of smoking tonight. And of course, oddfish.com <laughs> if your game stinks, grab some Adventure Sense. And if you want to write but you aren't sure where to start, try their Shine system. That's oddfishgames.com. Uh, folks, we've got a one shot, a Pathfinder 2E this Saturday. Uh, if you're interested in it, hit us up, mhobo Inc., at Twitter or gmail uh or if you just want to be on our talk shows on tuesday or if you want to be on blue rose mm -hmm. uh a week or the day after christmas uh caitlin is going to be running that one uh i believe kyle's going to be a walrus i'm not Yay. sure yeah i think so <laughs> uh, but for all of us here at murder hobo inc uh thank you very much follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want to buy our crap go ahead if you want to shoot the shit with us hit us up in discord but most importantly m hobo inc gmail or twitter if you want a seat uh on the show or the talk show everybody wave and let's have carry the producer take us out of here all right muted transition yeah.